Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're gonna look at an issue which you might have seen when importing uh, flights plans into Flight Simulator 2020, uh, specifically from SimBrief, but also several other online flight planners could, could be causing that issue. So for the example, I created a flight from Amsterdam Airport to uh, JFK Airport, and I used an old RAC cycle. The RAC cycle is a database containing all the navigation points which are valid for that specific time period. So in this case, from the 27th of February 2020 until the 25th of March 2020. If you select this list, you see that there are, I would say, multiple releases being released. It's normally, it's uh, I think it's valid for a month. So every month there's a new release. And for example, our Navigraph is just one of those providers who provide new data, um, which means a new database. And normally they are part of uh, the flight simulator updates, right? And if you check the release note for sim update, you will see, hey, RAC has now been updated to RAC cycle uh, 2113, which means it's the latest cycle. And why is that important? Well, in this case, we scheduled the flight from Amsterdam Airport to JFK, we selected a different route. And if we would change it now to RAC 2113, we can see, hey, it's valid, right? But if we select the, or if we select analyze route now, you will see that it says, hey, I can't find this specific uh, SID or fix. Because currently there is, I would say, some work being done in the airspace is to clean up some of the old, uh, I would say, uh, SIDs and fixes and to would say streamline the uh, airspaces. I think it happens both in Europe and the and in the US, but in Europe I'm hundred percent sure to do it, which will result in that uh, some of the old waypoints are being removed from newer air AC cycles. It's also being announced in several blog articles, not only from Navigraph but also from the uh, I would say the organ European organization who's responsible for reorganizing uh, the uh, the airspaces across the European countries. And this is exactly what's causing the issue in Flight Simulator, right? So if you would, for example, uh, plan it using uh, the RAC from 2003, then uh, save it and then import it in Flight Simulator, then it will generate an issue because in this case also, this one is missing because Flight Simulator is currently using, I think it's using 2113 if I'm correct. And that one is missing this one. So, which results in that the flight plan then, I would say, is only partially imported. In this case, it's only one waypoint, so it's not too bad. But in some cases, I've seen that there are multiple waypoints. Now, the question, of course, is how you can prevent it. Uh, well, you can't completely prevent it due to the fact that the free version of SimReef uh, is not always using the latest RAC option, right? So, you need to be aware of that. Uh, you, of course, can, I would say, buy a subscription from Navigraph if you like. Uh, the other way is to clean up that waypoint from your waiting list or load it in the World Planner prior, instead of loading it from the airplane. Uh, some of the airplanes have the SimBrief integration, which nicely allows you to import the flight plan directly into the airport. But to double check if there's no, I would say, incorrect waypoint, you might choose to first load it into Flight Simulator in the world map by choosing the option uh, Load Flights and then validating if all the waypoints are there and if not, then cleaning up some of them. Uh, be aware that if once you generated the flight plan in SimBrief, you might need to remove the waypoint, which is, I would say in this case, uh, removed from the newer version and then regenerate all the files because else it won't, I would say, won't be picked up by the SimBrief integrations in the aircrafts. Uh, so let's assume that this one is incorrect, right? You can simply delete it. Uh, then it says uh, route has not been analyzed. So you can press analyze again to make sure that there are no other waypoints which are being removed. Once it's happy, you can uh, go to the top and you can, I'd say, save the flight and then generate the flight plan. And 
from Flight Simulator itself, for example, using the fly-by-wire A32NX, or if you're using the G1000 uh, NXI add-on, you can simply import those uh, flight plans uh, either manually, in case of the G1000 NXI, or in case of the A32NX, you can use the import sim brief option, uh, which is built into the product. So here ends this short how-to where we discussed what's causing the not found in database issue. And I also showed you how you can work around that issue in case you're using uh, SimBrief. Hope you liked this video. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.